we're going to be taking a look at a printer from thinkpenguin.com. That's an all-in-one uh, laser printer with an automatic document feeder. This is the Canon Image Class black and white laser all-in-one printer with ADF GNU Linux Edition, model number TPE-CANLSR269. Basically, this printer is one of the few free software uh, friendly printers that are all-in-one lasers that will work great on GNU Linux and other free software operating systems. Um, this is a printer that is designed more for office use and it's going to get you inexpensive prints because it has a laser toner cartridge. The printer has both copying, faxing, and scanning capabilities and we're going to be taking a quick look at that today. Uh, this printer has support for 30 up to 30 pages per minute. Uh, this may vary depending on what uh, drivers you're using, but nonetheless, it also has wireless and what's a little bit unusual uh, for many uh, laser printers these days is it has an RJ45 port, so you can hook it up to a network easily too, uh, not only by wireless, but also uh, using a wire. Now we're going to be demonstrating this using a USB cable actually, um, and it's a little bit unusual because it, it's actually using driverless uh, printing basically. And so that's a little bit new technology at the moment. And so the printer is actually already set up on the machine. Um, but uh, in future versions, you should be, you should see it automatically get picked up uh, in your favorite distribution. All right. So uh, some other features of this printer is it includes duplex printing as well as two sided scanning support. Now the scanning is in color, but the printing is only in black and white. Um, it doesn't require any OS loaded binary blobs or OS loaded proprietary drivers or firmwares. Um, all right, uh, now uh, let's take a look at this. So the first thing we're going to do is actually uh, get a nice close up shot here. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to print off a i9 document here. Uh, because, well, that's a good multi page document that we can demonstrate the automatic document feeder with. So let's go ahead and do that now. And this will also give us an opportunity to demonstrate the printing capabilities of it. So I'm going to go ahead and click our print button. I've selected the printer and I'm going to go ahead and hit print. It will take a second to print the first time, but once it does, we will go ahead and scan it using the automatic document feeder. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab those and stick them into the automatic document feeder. Right now, it is set up for two-sided scanning. Um, these are one-side documents that we printed, and we did not use that duplex uh, printing capability. So we are only going to get one side, but it will show us a blank side, basically. So let's go ahead and go back here and open up our scanning utility. And one thing about this printer is because it is a driverless printer, um, we're going to have to make sure we select the right scanning option here for this to work. And it is defaulted, it looks like, to the right one. So it's the ESCL Canon. And then I'm going to hit, I'm gonna actually not hit scan yet. I'm going to hit select the uh, all pages from feeder. Oh, looks like it's already selected. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit scan. You can see that it is scanning one page at a time. And as you can see, it's now coming up on our screen here. 
notice how it is giving us a blank page in there. And that's because it's actually scanning the other side of our non-duplex print. Yep, and now we've got the second page. And there are four pages. And I think when this is done, I'm actually going to go ahead and show off the duplex printing capabilities as well while I'm at it here. Just because we can. All right, so exit out of that. And then we are going to go ahead and see if we can do this to say printing. If I selected the right option, we should have two side printing coming out. Less complicated documents. Uh, can print faster than this too and it does depend on which uh, printer driver that you're using so there you go it is definitely printing one side then printing the second side so let's go so you can see here we've got one side we've got two sides one side two side so it's a great office document printer and there are lots of great features with this printer. It's hard to go wrong, I think, uh, with this model. But um, obviously, this is a little bit more expensive model than if you get just a simple black and white printer. And sometimes it is better to go with a simple black and white printer. Um, often, if you also want to be able to print color printers, a combination of a black and white laser in addition to a all-in-one inkjet printer is the way to go. But for those who don't have the space or, you know, have a maybe a more constrained budget, this is another great option to consider. All right, check it out at thinkpenguin.com.